Hello, Gemini. This will be a love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get into it, Gemini. I don't know what's going on today, Gemini, but I have tried to do your reading like three times now, which is very weird because I'm a Gemini, Sun, and a Gemini, Venus. And so I feel like every time I do a Gemini reading, I am just connected. I'm there, you know? <laughs> and for some reason today, you're my first reading for this month and nothing's going right. So I took a little break and I'm back. Cleansed the space, did everything all over again. And let's see what messages we get. Let's see what's coming your way in love. For Gemini, please, for Gemini. What is coming Gemini's way in love? What is coming Gemini's way in love? Mirrored souls. You both mirror each other in this connection. Soulmate, faded love, twin flame. What? Okay. Is that what's coming your way? All right. I have no complaints. What else? Cold shoulder, silence, blockage, struggle. Someone's feeling shut out or left out of this connection. Interesting. So this could be somebody that has cut communication. Maybe you've cut communication with them. Um, maybe they've given you the cold shoulder. Or you've given them the cold shoulder, even though you still have some sort of feelings for them. Uh, maybe they're just not talking with your person, your soulmate. Maybe there's a disconnect there. Um, very interesting. We'll see what other messages we get um, with the tarot. But let me pick some romance angels as well here. Any other messages for Gemini? Spirit, what does Gemini need to know regarding love? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. Um, I really appreciate it. And your likes and your subscribes help out the channel a lot. So thank you so much. All right, Gemini, let's see. For Gemini, what's coming, Gem? What's coming towards Gemini? What? Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I feel like a lot of the Geminis I'm talking to, maybe you're separated from your person or there's no communication with your person. Or you feel a distance, you know, a cold shoulder. What else for Gemini? These two here. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I love how I'm like, you feel disconnected. And then there's like a retreat right here. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. So let's get into the tarot here. Messages for Gemini in regards to love. What does Gemini need to know when it comes to love spirit? What is coming Gemini's way when it comes to love? For Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? Wow, there we are, the lovers. Starting off, what is going on? See, this is why I had to do the reading now. Why it didn't wasn't working any time earlier today. What else for Gemini? What's coming Gemini's way in love? Five of Pentacles, that's that cold shoulder. What is coming Gemini's way in love? What is coming Gemini's way? Queen of Cups, beautiful. A lot of emotion here, Gemini. A lot of, uh, I, I just heard deep feelings, so, okay. So even though I feel there's some sort of disconnect in this connection, if you're already in a connection, there's some sort of disconnect. If you are single, I feel like you feel very lonely right now. And almost like um, maybe you feel like your soulmate will never come. Or maybe the idea of your soulmate is something that is like your idea of your soulmate is not really who your soulmate is meant to be. And you have to keep an open mind. We'll see. We'll see what we get when we clarify these. But what I see here so far is the lovers is all about a choice between what your heart is telling you and what your mind is telling you. Um, it's also a choice. It could be a choice between two people or some sort of union or partnership. Like it could be, if this wasn't a love reading, it could be a business partnership. Um, mirrored souls. I love this because 
when I created this card, I was thinking of the Two of Cups, but I can also see it here with uh, the lovers. So I feel like there's there's something mutual here. You both mirror each other in this connection. So there's something like that you both are seeing the same way. And I feel like there's there's clearly a separation between you, maybe long distance, maybe uh, no communication, maybe some sort of um, separation that happened between you. But I feel like there's still love there with the Queen of Cups. Maybe we've been with a Scorpio. I just had the death card come out. So tell me about the lovers. Nine of swords. Worry, stress, anxiety, remorse. Tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers here? Whatever this partnership is or whoever it's with, you're stressed. Um, sleepless nights. The Hierophant. Taurus energy there. Some of you could be um, fearing commitment or some of you, I feel like, are in a commitment that you're not happy in. Um, I'm also picking up that worry again of someone feeling like they'll never find this, 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 like a, a, a stable commitment, love soulmate like they're not going to find it so like some sort of stress why is that hard to find here why is that hard to... temperance reversed sagittarius energy something not coming together uh more time needed someone feeling impatient again that stress that worry some of you are worried that something's not happening for you that something's not coming together, that too much time has passed, that, you know, maybe you're becoming impatient or, you know, having doubts now that time has passed about a certain partnership, about commitment, about someone else being in a partnership or a commitment. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. Maybe something hasn't come together because someone's not really playing fair or not being honest or open um hiding something um maybe there was some sort of difficult ending or difficult argument that happened between you and this person tell me about the five of pentacles why is the five of pentacles here why is the five of pentacles the magician reverse so something hasn't manifested for you and it's left you kind of out in the cold here, feeling lonely, abandoned, struggling. Oh, hold on. If I could just keep my cards in my hands. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles, please. What else can you tell me about the Five of Pentacles? Eight of Pentacles. Someone's focused on... Um, making something happen here effort is being put in even though it's almost like um you really try to put in work it could also be i have the knight of wands reverse at the bottom it could also be that um this was something that was never a full commitment even though you were fully ready to put in the work and it just didn't happen for others of you, I feel like you were putting in serious effort and someone else wasn't feeling the same way or wasn't as committed as you were. Be very careful. Some of you, I feel, might be putting in effort or wanting to manifest something that um, hasn't happened for a reason, if that makes sense. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Can I get one more? Okay. Can I get one more for the Five of Pentacles? These cards are so like flimsy that sometimes it's hard for me to shuffle them. Oh, I think that one might come out. Page of Wands. Okay. A message for starting something new here. An initial message of interest, starting a new adventure, the potential of something. Now, this isn't like 
a ton of communication or anything like that. You know, it's, it's, it's the initial message. But yeah, I feel like this is going to put you down a new path here with the two of uh, wands, whatever this message is. It's going to give you uh, opportunities. There's going to be possibilities. Um, maybe you're going to be waiting for the right time to choose a path or waiting to to for like a sign to go down a certain path. I'm also, it's almost like you're waiting for this message. Tell me about the Queen of, okay, Eight of Cups Reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Cups, please. This is, um, this could mean two very different things, the Eight of Cups Reverse. It can mean that someone is returning who has left, or it could be that someone's unable to leave. You know, they're delayed or blocked in some way. So we'll see. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. What is the Queen of Cups here? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Seven of Swords reverse. What in the world? Getting caught in the act. Someone's actions being seen clearly. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, okay. So Seven of Pentacles, all about kind of um, wondering, doubting. You've invested, put in work, and are wondering if something's going to grow, pan out for you. I feel like it's almost like you're wondering, does this person feel the same way? Or am I, you know, am I going to... Am I imagining this? Got the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, Aries energy. But why the Seven of Swords reverse? What's the Seven of Swords reversed about? What's the Seven of Swords reversed about? What's the Seven of Swords reverse about? Spirit, why is the Seven of Swords reverse here? If I can get one card, no I probably should have chosen this deck. <laughs> why is the Seven of Swords reverse? Nine of Wands. Someone doesn't trust someone else. Having trust issues here. Wary of someone's actions. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Reverse. Yeah. Someone's wondering if someone's being... It's almost like if this is you, Gemini, you're wondering if you're getting played, if it's all in your head, if this is just going to be another loss for you. Yeah. Probably because something has taken a really long time to happen with the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So it's like... Can I trust this person is kind of what I'm seeing. Will something grow? Will something happen? Um, maybe a lot of a lot has happened in this connection where now you don't really trust very easily and you're guarded. Um, maybe in the past you've been played. And so this, if this is someone new, you're having doubts. You're having, you know, you're playing it safe here. I feel like you're wondering if someone does come back to you and if that's if you are waiting for someone to come back I feel like you've waited for a while if you're waiting for someone to come back I feel like you're wondering will it even work if they come back you know things have been cold between us for so long um things didn't work out before something hasn't manifested will it work this time That's kind of what I'm picking up here. So let's see. What's next here? What do we need to know about this person? 
what do we need to know, Spirit, about this person that Gemini is thinking about at this time? What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is thinking about at this time? And, you know, unfortunately, I wish this was a reading for, like, I wish I could tell the singles watching, um, you know, that this is a reading for you. But, unfortunately, I got separation retreat and I got a uh, cold shoulder. So, that can really only happen when you've already had some sort of communication that has started. Um, so, I, I don't know if this is someone completely new here. It I mean, I guess it could be in the sense that, like, maybe you retreated from love based off of what happened in the past, some sort of separation in the past. You closed yourself off to love. Uh, maybe you you have a cold shoulder when it comes to love. And I feel like maybe you're wondering if, if anything new will happen for you. So, I mean, I guess there, that is a possibility. But mainly I'm getting that this is some someone from the past for most of you where there has been some sort of disconnect. All right, so let's see. What do we need to know about this person, Spirit? What do we need to know for Gemini? Queen of Cups reverse. What do we need to know for Gemini about this person? So I feel like we're, whereas you're already stable emotionally, I feel like your person isn't. Yeah, but I feel like, they're, okay, so I feel like you're both impatient here. So maybe that's how you're mirroring each other. Yeah, your person wants to like move forward here. Um, this three of wands could also be that someone missed the boat, missed an opportunity with you. And now they want success. Because three of wands reverse could be, um, you know, delays, not being able to move forward, missing an opportunity due to bad uh, mis or mistakes being made or something like that. Maybe because you were, uh, someone was taking too many risks or was too hasty. But this could also be being impatient, no longer wanting to wait any longer. And I have it with the chariot, so that kind of makes sense. Someone wants to make a move here. I feel like your person is attached to you emotionally with the queen of cups reverse. Either that or they're heartbroken. Yeah, look at this. Page of Cups at the bottom. Yeah, someone could be coming to you to apologize to, or to offer love here. So thank you so much to everyone once again. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video. Take care.